What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 weapon review video and today's it. I want to go over the Last Wish Raid Pulse Rifle, the Chattering Bone. Now I know this came out with Last Wish, I'm a little late on the ball, but I actually did get a pretty solid roll that I actually did want to test out in PvP. I've gotten some ones before and they just were not good for anything, but this, this one is pretty crispy. So on how to obtain this weapon, it's a, it's a Last Wish Raid weapon so it can be obtained from any of the encounters, secret raid chest, challenge bounties, and you can get the curated roll from the Riven Encounter. Going over the perks on mine, so it comes with a lightweight frame. Obviously, what's cool about lightweight frame is that you get a plus two mobility, which is pretty sick. I have three barrel options. I'm pretty sure I just went with the barrel that kept a good amount of range stability and handling and a good amount of vertical recoil as well. Highly recommend doing that. I forget which barrel one I had. I also had like extended barrel, which increased range like crazy. So I definitely had a few options. For the magazine, I had extended mag and light mag. Definitely wanted light mag for that increased range and a little bit faster reload speed. Next, range finder. Pretty cool when you aim down sight, it gets increased range. And then lastly, we have high impact reserves. Basically, when you get down to the end of the magazine, it does more damage. I also have a counterbalance mod attached and a range masterwork. Going over the archetype, so lightweight frame. This falls in with pulses like the Nightshade, uh, the Nurgle. Those are the ones that just come to the top of my head. So if you like using those ones, you're gonna like using this one as well. Going over some good mods, in PvE, I would go with a minor spec or a rampage mod, depending on your play style, essentially. Like, you definitely want to be able to take out those ring and file ads a little faster. And for PvP, definitely go with the counterbalance mod to help with that recall direction. Going over a good masterwork, I would aim for a ranger stability masterwork, because that's where lightweight pulses are usually lacking. So, you definitely want to aim for one of those. Going over PvE and the PvE side of Gambit, it can be really effective if you... If you <coughs> Going over PvE and the PvE side of the game, it can be really effective if you can get a good roll on it. There aren't a lot of trade perk options to choose from. There's only four in each column, so hopefully you can get a solid roll. In general, pulses perform extremely well in all PvE activities just because of how like versatile they are at a variety of ranges versus hand cannons, scouts, auto rifles, etc. I always use my god roll blast furnace, or go figure, or right side of wrong, uh, bygones, etc. Like, even in Gambit can serve, like, two main purposes. Rush in and kill enemies, collect moats, or you can stay back and take out the enemies from a distance to allow your team to collect moats, which allows for bigger blockers. So, that's pretty cool. It would be good, uh, it wouldn't be too good, I should say, against the Primeval or blockers, but the transition from PvE to PvP can be very, very easy, to say the least. Like, you can be shooting ads a little bit, invader inbound, and then you can turn around and slap them with the pulse rifle, which is pretty good. So, as long as you catch them off guard. If somebody has Queen Breaker, you're probably gonna get smacked. But a PvE god roll would have barrel perks that give you a good balance between range stability and recoil direction. It's extended mag, but only when paired with the outlaw perk. High caliber rounds, ricochet rounds, or light mag in the magazine slot. Outlaw in trade column number one and rampage in trade column number two. The curator roll wouldn't be bad either because it does come with light mag, kill clip, and high impact reserves. But if you're going to get a random drop, it cannot come with kill clip. So keep that in mind. Going over the crucible and the PvP side of Gambit, it's pretty solid in my opinion. Lightweight frame pulses are super underrated at the moment, especially when compared to the aggressive burst and adaptive frame pulses. Things like blast furnace and bygones mostly is what I'm talking about. The good thing about mine is that it comes with range finder, so it can hit enemies consistently from adaptive frame pulse rifle ranges, right? If it didn't have range finder, I wouldn't get into those longer engagements because I know I'll end up getting outgunned by a variety of distance weapons. I think all pulse rifle archetypes are in a good place currently, and I think people should start using more of the lightweight frame ones. Like, I was using the Nightshade Curator Roll, which is a lightweight frame. Man, that thing was slapping, man, especially with Kill Clip. Oh, that thing is really good. So, if I had this thing with Kill Clip, it would be freaking amazing. So, on that PvP side of Gambit, it wouldn't be too bad either. The transition I was talking about earlier would be easy because you can go from shooting ads to finding an enemy invader and taking them out from a distance without having to waste time pulling out another weapon, like a Queen Breaker or something like that. Even for invading, it wouldn't be too bad, but I think you're going to get outgunned more of the times by longer range pulses, linear fusions, snipers, etc., etc. So it wouldn't be bad if you don't have heavy ammo, but again, it's 4v1, which kind of sucks. So... Just keep that in mind. A PvP Gobble would have barrel perks that give you a good balance of range and stability. High caliber rounds, ricochet rounds, or light mag in the magazine slot. Full auto or range finder in trade column number one. And a rampage head seeker or under pressure in trade column number two. But I would recommend trying to get the curator roll because it's the only one that can come with kill clip, which we all know is a top tier perk to have in PvP. Going over some useful exotics and perks, I can't think of any relevant exotics off the top of my head, but any pulse rifle perks like targeting, dexterity, uh, unflinching, any of those will help out your performance a lot. 
Going on my final thoughts, overall, lightweight frame pulses are very good, but aren't the most popular archetype. In my opinion, Chattering Bone and Nightshade are great to use, especially if you end up getting a god roll or one of the curator rolls. Like, they're just really freaking good, man. Yes, you can say, my Blast Furnace is freaking great, I can smack at a range and all that great stuff, but what happens when somebody gets close? Oh, whip out my shotgun. Yeah, they, probably, they might have a shotgun too, so just keep that in mind as well. We're now at the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, but there are three things I wanna go over. First up, my clan, the D1 Fire Team, is looking for active players in the Destiny community. Our members play all sorts of activities from casual PvE and PvP to the end game content. If you're actively playing Destiny 2 and want the benefits of a bigger clan, the link to join is below. It'll say clan link. All you have to do is request to join and myself or one of the admins will approve you. If you're with a smaller clan and want the benefits of a bigger clan and you have like, let's say, like seven to 10 members. I'm just using that as an example. But if you wanna come over, just send me a message on any of my social media links and we'll try to get something set up. Number two, if you wanna help support me, there's a link below that says best way to support me. That'll take you to a four minute video. If you wanna go check that out, that'd be awesome. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video and all that good jazz if you wanna do any of those things. Lastly, we have a link to the community Discord below. Just a heads up, we're looking for anyone with moderator experience to potentially run the Discord. I know for myself, I'm more of a player instead of a manager. So if you have some moderator experience, just send me a message and we'll try to get something set up. I know for myself, I'm on Xbox, but if you guys would like to talk or chat with me, Discord is gonna be the best way to do those things. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.